Celine Dion has cancelled her entire world tour as she continues to battle with a rare and incurable neurological health condition. The legendary star, 55, told fans she is tremendously disappointed to let them down as she revealed she is unable to continue her 42-day tour. In December, Celine tearfully shared that she had been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome. The condition causes severe and constant muscle spasms, which have been preventing the Canadian icon from performing. Giving an update on Friday, My Heart Will Go On songstress Celine told fans that she's been forced to cancel her tour dates but was working really hard to build back her strength. I'm so sorry to disappoint all of you once again. And even though it breaks my heart, it's best that we cancel everything until I'm really ready to be back on stage. I'm not giving up. And I can't wait to see you again," she said in a statement. The statement added, We do have every hope that someday soon, Celine will be able to come to all of these cities in Europe to perform for her amazing fans, but that time simply is not now. A spokesperson for the hitmaker explained that while she continues to work on her recovery, she will be postponing her shows which were set to run from August 26, 2023 through until October. What is Stiff Person Syndrome? Stiff Person Syndrome SBS, is a rare, progressive neurological disorder. Its symptoms may include stiff muscles in the torso, arms, and legs and greater sensitivity to noise, touch and emotional distress, which can set off muscle spasms. Over time people with SPS may develop hunched over postures while in some extreme cases, sufferers may not be able to walk or move. Many fall frequently because they do not have the normal reflexes to catch themselves and this can lead to serious injuries. People with SPS may be afraid to leave the house because street noises, such as the sound of a car horn, can trigger spasms and falls. SPS affects twice as many females as males and it is frequently associated with other autoimmune diseases such as type 2 diabetes, thyroiditis, vitiligo, and pernicious anemia. Scientists don't yet understand what causes SPS, but research indicates that it is the result of an autoimmune response gone awry in the brain and spinal cord. How is SPS diagnosed and treated? According to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders, SPS is often misdiagnosed as Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, psychosomatic illness, or anxiety and phobia. A definitive diagnosis can be made with a blood test that measures the level of glutamic acid decarboxylase GAD, antibodies. With appropriate treatment, SPS symptoms may be kept under control. Several symptoms improve with an anti-anxiety and muscle relaxant medication or with drugs that alleviate muscle spasms. A study funded by the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke NINES, showed that intravenous immunoglobulin IVIC, treatment is effective in reducing stiffness, sensitivity to noise, touch, and stress and for improving the pattern of movement in the limbs and balance for people with SPS. IVIG contains natural antibodies produced by the immune system derived from thousands of healthy donors. For more information on stiff person syndrome, read here.
Summer.